Well, Roger Kosick joins us. He's our analyst when it comes down to legal matters, certainly that are well over our head. He's got a couple of minutes. He's joining us, joining us right now here on the Michael K. Show. Roger, it's Don LeGrec and Ryan Rugo. Thanks for giving us a couple of minutes, man. Uh, it's my pleasure, and that's, I'm sorry, but that's all I got to, to, got for you today. But let's get going. Yes, yeah, so real quick. So when, when you find out that evidence is destroyed in this manner, if Tom Brady wanted to appeal, what, what kind of damage could that do to his case that this is now out there? Well, it, it, what happens is this all gets folded into the arbitration, and the arbitration, the rules of the arbitration were uh, as set out in the collective bargaining agreement. And so here comes Goodell, who has the ability to give the sentence as well as review the sentence, and he has the, he's the judge. He says, look, Brady destroyed the one piece of evidence, or a piece of evidence that he knew we would be looking into. That bears, you know, negative inferences are drawn from that. So that is perhaps another reason why I made the decision that I did. I think some judges, a judge is going to review this, is going to look and say, yeah, I, I, that, does, that makes sense to me. Do, yeah. you, think, do uh, you think Brady has a strong case if he appeals and goes to federal court? Here's what I think. I, I, I think he's, it's a real uphill battle. Uh, you know, I know most of us are a little offended by the idea that you can have a, the person who imposes the sentence and then reduce the sentence, but that's what the Players Association agreed to. There's some other things that Brady's going to appear appeal to. He's going to say, look, this just isn't fair. And by, you know, you can't agree to something that's so unfair. He, he's going to argue that uh, it, it just violates uh, this, and he's going to violate that, 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 that the way he was that this, this kind of probably sort of was found uh, that guilty. This isn't a real finding of guilty. But at the end of the day, the National Football League is going to come in and hold up that signed player's agreement and say, Judge, you know, it isn't really a question of what you think or what anybody else thinks. This is we agreed to this. This is what we agreed to. Roger Goodell was given the power to do it, and he did it. And he didn't act so unreasonably right. as to as to, as to have something uh, turned overturned. Roger, real quick, one last one from a legal standpoint. If this went to a, a court of law, can they retrieve those text messages even though the phone has been destroyed? Well, I, I, you know, I, I'm not the one to really ask that. You know, I, you know, I, I call my grandson to turn on the computer in the morning, so I, okay. I have no <laughs> idea what they can what they can get, what they can't get. Uh, you know, I, it, it would seem to me it's going to be awfully tough to find those messages without having the physical phone. But there's people who know a lot more about that than I do.